Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman. Hello. Is the mic live? I would be pleased to withdraw the motion uh, if perhaps the gentleman could tell us more about the uh, nature of the process he has in mind. Yes, I think uh, Fred would be able to tell you what the Native people have planned. Thank you. Well, I can't speak for all Native people in Canada. I can speak on behalf of the Native Council of Canada, which rec represents the Métis and non-status Indians. We are in, our, our president, Gloria George, is involved in the official Canadian delegation. She is one of the advisors. Our vice president is involved in the monitoring of the, uh, of the conference, one of the monitoring task teams which has been set up. I myself are involved in the NGO Canadian group, plus also on the post-habitat committee. Mr. Harry Daniels is also involved with the NGOs. So what we are attempting to, you, to do is use that process which has been set up, even, if, even though we don't agree with it. However, if all our efforts here are unsuccessful and the Canadian government fails to reaffirm our Aboriginal rights, and we understand the decision is going to cabinet next week, then I would see, you know, other methods we have to take. And these methods I cannot divulge. These are private internal things. But, you know, I appreciate the support of all the people here, and we all do as Native people. We support the Inuit land claims, we support the status Indians in their claims. But what I'm saying is this forum is not the proper place. And, however, we, we will come back to this forum after the next few days and inform the people here what exactly came out of our deliberations with the NGOs and at the official forum. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I'd like, I've been asked to remind people here that this is a no-smoking area. We've got a, a wonderful facility here of all wood and uh, flammable materials. And I'd probably start by asking the people at the, that was just at the microphone to extinguish your cigarettes, please. Uh, the, uh, the UBCIC film, the Union of BC Indian Chiefs film, Land is the Culture, will be shown immediately after the Inuits film, and I understand that Inuit film is, is uh, just about kicking off now in, in that general direction of the building. Uh, it's an hour's film. The Union's film is about uh, 28 minutes to 30 minutes long. Are there any other questions, comments? Yes, ma'am? A statement on behalf of Native Women's Association of Canada as president that we feel too that we have just met with the Standing Committee on Indian Affairs in Ottawa on the 25th. We feel it's very important to support the Aboriginal land claims but we also want recognition of the status of Native women and I would like to quote what we had said. We are upset that the government is giving consideration to the establishment of a federal human rights commission which will specifically exclude grievances of Native women. We understand further that Canada last week signed and ratified the International Covenants on Human Rights and that this act will allow Canadians to have legal recourse to justice in areas affecting political, civic, economic, social and cultural rights. In this light, we would like to see the government's international actions translated into domestic policies to alleviate the double standard of treatment of Native women. As it stands, Indian women have no guaranteed Indian rights and no avenue to which to address their grievances. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any other speakers, comments, questions? Turn up the heat. T turn off the rain. If there are no other questions, I guess we'll conclude this, this session today and again remind you that the World Council of Indigenous Peoples will hold a land claims workshop tomorrow at 1 o'clock in Hangar 6. And thank you for coming out to the session this afternoon, especially in this terrible weather. <laughs>